Slut shaming. Is it right, wrong, or simply just acceptable? Short little disclosure. I do not know everything, and I'm not going to pretend like I do. If by some chance you disagree with me on any topic I discuss on my channel, whether it be slut-shaming or gay marriage or whatever it be, that's fine. I want discussion. I want people to talk. I want to hear your perspectives, your opinions, and your beliefs on, on different types of subjects that I talk about on my channel, because as you well know, my channel can be a bit controversial at times with the things that I discuss. That being said, this is my video on why I believe that slut-shaming is wrong. Before we talk about slut-shaming, we have to ask the question, what is slut-shaming? My personal definition of slut-shaming is the unfortunate phenomenon when a woman is mocked or degraded simply by her wearing tight, revealing clothing, or perhaps she shows a little bit of cleavage, or perhaps how much sex she's had with different men, or perhaps how much sex she hasn't had with men, but it's being rumored that she did. And of course, if you know anything about me, you would know that I think that this message is complete and utter Bullshit. What amazes me about today's generation and women and men to today is how many people think it's their business to interfere with how many times you've had sex with other people. It's no one's business how much sex I've had. It's no one's business how much sex you as a woman has had. And you and I do not deserve to be hated on or degraded on simply because we had sex with more than one individual. Now I'm about to say something which I think a lot of people on my channel may disagree with me on, and if you do, that's perfectly fine. But I sincerely and genuinely believe that slut-shaming contributes to what is we know as rape culture. I do believe that rape culture does exist. For those of you who don't know what rape culture is, rape culture is where sexual violence against women is a common thing, and in which prevalent attitudes tolerate sexual violence against women. Now, I want to make it clear, sexual violence also happens to men. It happens to both genders. I'm not siding with one. However, statistically speaking, there is in fact more violence sexually against women than there is men although it happens to both genders. Slut-shaming contributes to rape culture by saying that it is okay to rape sluts. Because somehow a woman having lots of sex with different men, or revealing tight, revealing clothing, or because she's a little bit drunk, or because she's wearing a low-cut top showing off some cleavage, she's asking to be raped. That's what it's saying. That's what rape culture, that's what slut-shaming, does and how it contributes to rape culture. And if you've been a subscriber of mine for any amount of time, you would know that I've made videos addressing men who actually do in fact believe that what a woman wears, whether it's revealing clothing or not, there are w men who actually think that she's asking to be raped. I don't know how many people watched my older video on the uh, Steubenville rape case that I covered. I made three videos on that, about the men who grabbed that young girl, dragged her in, um, got her intoxicated, she was drunk, passed out, and they dro drug her to different parties and had sex with her, sexually assaulted her, injected their fingers into her vagina, peed on her, and many, many other horrendous things. Well, she wasn't, she was drunk. And one of the men's logic was, in fact, she, he didn't know it was rape because she was passed out. So, I'm proving a point here. The rape culture does in fact exist, and that I do believe that slut-shaming contributes to this idea that rape culture says you des it's, oh, it's okay to rape you because you're dr passed out, or you're this, or you're that, or you're dressing this way, and that's wrong. Completely and utterly wrong. A woman or man, based upon their, what they wear, what they drink, what they do, is not asking to be raped. It's an absurd notation. It's a absurd position to hold. And I think that any guy or any woman who holds the position that someone is asking to be raped has serious mental problems. Rape is caused by rapists, whether it be from misogyny or misandry or institutionalized tolerance of that specific behavior. Not how a woman talks, not how she walks, not how she drinks, not by the clothes that she wears, and of course, not by her being a quote-unquote slut, as 
many people like to call it. There's a woman by the name of Heather Jarvis. If you look at it on Wikipedia, um, it's in association with Slut Walk, which I don't know how many people know what that is, but it happens in Seattle and other places in different states, um, one of which I participated in uh, Seattle Slut Walk last year. However, she says this, being in charge of our sexual lives should not mean that we are opening ourselves to an expectation of violence, regardless if we participate in sex for pleasure or work. No one should equate enjoying sex with attracting sexual assault. This goes not only for women, but also men too. And she is completely right in this statement. I do believe that slut shaming takes away women's right to freely express, express themselves through their sexuality in fear of being scrutinized by what we know as those slut shamers such as men and women alike. I believe that people should know the meaning behind the words that they say. They should know what they mean when they use certain words towards people to degrade them and their sexuality. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles. That is my opinion on slut shaming and why I think it is wrong. Feel, dis feel free to disagree and write comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for guys for watching. My name is Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Soulsbach. Peace, the rip out.